Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com and SoapQueen.com. Thanks for joining me on today's episode of Soap Queen TV. Today, I'm going to show you how to make three beautiful colors of lipstick shades. After a lot of mixing and matching and trial and error, I've perfected three perfect colors for you a juicy raspberry, a sunset crimson, and a beautiful brick red. Not only do these wonderful lipsticks provide lots of color, they're also extremely skin loving. The oils I've chosen are particularly good for lips. Castor oil provides excellent coverage for the lips. Jojoba oil is a liquid wax that's extremely moisturizing. Ecosoya Advanced Wax provides sheen and Candelia wax adds hardness. For this recipe, I'm going to use chia seed oil to disperse my colorants in because it is extra skin loving with lots of vitamins and antioxidants. You'll notice all of these ingredients are vegan, so bonus, this lipstick is a vegan product. Before we get started, it's time to put together our lip balm filling tray. This filling tray from Brambleberry.com is wonderful because it allows you to easily pour all your lipstick colorants without fussing or messing or using a dropper. With the caps off, just put your lip balm tube directly into the back of this. You'll notice it snaps in. Once you've got all of them done, flip this entire thing over and it's ready for pouring. Now it's time to mix our colors. Keep in mind that as you're mixing your colors at home, you can mix and match shades. I chose these because they work on a wide variety of skin tones, but if you want lighter or darker, customize. I use chia seed oil because it's extremely moisturizing on the skin and it's a wonderful exotic oil for lips. However, if you don't have chia seed oil at home, you can use any lightweight oil like sweet almond oil or avocado oil. Portion out one third ounce or 0.3 ounces of chia seed oil into a heat safe small container. I'm going to do all three of my colors at the same time. All of our colorants are measured by volume. For our lightest color, add 1 4th teaspoon of brick red oxide from Brambleberry and 3 teaspoons of electric bubblegum pigment. Now I know this looks like it's going to be really pink. Don't worry, that brick red really tamps down the color. For our medium shade, add 1 8th teaspoon of brick red oxide, 1.5 teaspoons of Cellini red mica, and two and a half teaspoons of coral mica from Brambleberry.com. Finally, for our darkest, most pigmented color, add one teaspoon of coral mica, two teaspoons of Cellini Red, and two teaspoons of Brick Red Oxide. Use a heat safe spoon to mix all of these colors. Take a while to mix these in. You don't want any chunks of color or pigment in your lipstick in the end. After your pigments are fully mixed, it's time to make our base. This is our base for all three of the colors. In a heat safe container, add two ounces of castor oil, two ounces of jojoba oil, 0.2 ounces, so less than a quarter ounce of ecosoya wax, and 0.5 ounces, half an ounce of candelia wax. It's important to choose a container that doesn't have too much head space. If there's too much empty air space in your container, your container can crack or break when you take it out of the microwave. Once your oils and waxes are mixed together, melt this in the microwave on 30 second bursts. Do not do more than 30 seconds. You don't want this to get too hot. In between 30 second bursts, just stir gently to make sure everything is mixing together well. Once your base is melted, give it a good stir and then evenly divide it with your three colors. It's about one and a half ounces per container of color. Now stir. After you've added your base is a great time to keep working out any clumps. It's okay if you're stirring so long that this starts to harden up a little bit. Yeah, there's some chunks on this light mix. So I'm just going to toss this back in the microwave for just 10 seconds. It doesn't take a lot of heat to get this remelted. If it's not quite ready after 10 seconds, do another 10 seconds. Just do 10 second bursts for this portion. Once it's fully liquid, go ahead and stir that up. All right, this looks great. Now it's time to pour. Start pouring into your filling tray. Notice I'm trying to hit all of these holes, but if it leaks over the side, it's okay. We're gonna clean this up later. And I've got about 
eight of these filled and I'm coming to the end. Looks like there's a little bit of kind of pigment left in here, so I'm just gonna stop pouring. I don't want any of that super strong pigment to make it down into my lipstick. Repeat this process with the other two colors. Once the entire mixture is hardened, use a scraping tool like this flat spatula from Brambleberry.com or a credit card to scrape off all the excess color and lipstick. There you go, and then you can just put it into another container and you can either save it to use later or remelt it to make one unique shade. To give your lipsticks the perfect finishing touch that looks extremely professional, take a heat gun or an embossing gun and just hit those tops very quickly, maybe just a second or two, and that helps to fill in all the cracks and possible divots and gives your lipsticks a glossy sheen on the top. Wow, you can really tell the difference between the one that I didn't do any finishing touches on and the one I did. I think it's totally worth it. You can buy a heat gun at any hardware store or an embossing gun at any craft store. Once your lip balm is hardened, just pop it out of your lip balm filling tray, cap all of your lip balms, and then put a label on them. Now, there's just one more step, cleaning out all of your oily, messy containers. There's a Soap Queen TV short designed just for you. Be sure to watch that and you'll learn how to clean out your containers easily. Making your own lipsticks is easy, economical, and fun. We had Brambleberry staff test all of these colors and found that these last a good two to three hours on the lips without reapplying. <laughs> they really provide robust, pigmented color. Thanks for watching today's episode of Soap Queen TV. Until next time, happy soaping.